importance to say about a show except naming it. Um, yeah, so that's what you are signing up for. But I did uh, make a little list of some of the shows I wanted to talk about. So I guess that's one thing I did. wife one. 
wants to have a real conversation with him about something that's important to her, um, but she doesn't want it on the show. She'll say, God, I don't put this on the show, but he still wants to put it in the show, and will put it in the show. So, um, there are some diffs because of that, more than diffs, really, like, some people really butt heads, um, but it's always done with good intentions, it doesn't feel too, it can become kind of maddening to watch, but in a fun way, and it never feels like a big downer, it just feels complicated and messy, like life, and for that reason it's really good, and it's all available on YouTube, so I highly recommend checking it out if you have not heard of it yet, or if you're interested in things like what is truth, or recursivity, or anything like that, um, it's very fun, it's easy to binge watch too, because I think there are only two seasons, and um, the episodes are anywhere from minutes to 20 minutes. Okay, let's see. Next on my list is Barry. I don't know how it took me so long to start watching Barry, but I just started this year, probably like a few months ago even. And of course I went straight through it. It's great. It's with Bill Hader. If you don't know, he is a hitman who wants to out of the business and become an actor and you know his boss is seeking him out and being like hey man you can't do this like you have a job and what well, you're gonna be an actor and get your face out there and get recognized like these two things do not um combine well you know you can't do both and so there's that complication like he's finally found meaning in his life but the one thing he's actually very, very talented at is, not that he's a terrible actor, but it takes him a while, but the thing he's excellent at is killing people, which is really messed up, of course, um, and it's just very funny, very dark, and very compelling, because the stakes are always so high, um, he's always about to get found out, or somebody's about to get a hit taken out on them, or, you know, whatever. Um, he, he also struggles with um, being emotionally available for people he cares about because he has been trained to repress his emotions, so that's another thread of the plot. Um, Henry Winkler is in it, and he's the acting teacher and he's so funny, he, um, it's basically just one big parody of what acting class is, like, he's always saying, Te the technique, what is it, it's something like, I'm gonna butcher this, but it's like, technique is technique, I don't know, he's just always making fun of people who, like, really buy into things like how to, how to be a phenomenal actor in 90 days kind of thing, it's like that kind of talk. And it's also really fun to watch because you care about Barry, Bill Hader, and you see him start to get better at acting and start to become happy, and he's one of the characters I've felt most invested in emotionally in a long time. Um, so, it's really good, really funny, really dark, like I said. Okay, and then I gotta mention Fleabag, obviously. If you have not seen Fleabag, what are you doing? If this doesn't sell you on it, like, this, this is not how, this is not why I love it, but I'm just gonna tell you, if you haven't seen it, you have to see it. Everyone loves it. Two seasons. I think six episodes each. Each one's 20 minutes, so it's like six hours runtime total. So like two to three movies, okay? And it's phenomenal. Where do I begin? The first season is very good. It's, um, it's very good. In my opinion, it's a little predictable, but it's fun. It's very irreverent. Her humor is dirty and crass, but not disgusting. It's just very, very honest. Incredibly honest. And um, there are some complicated emotions at play, and there are good reasons. 
seen that before. We watched the one of poor Bully D. Who do we watch? I don't know which actor it was, but like they brought out his double. It was so funny. Okay, getting off track. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. Just a lot of weird sketches. I just wanted to make a point that I don't think it's 
these two.
ask me for that unless you want it because it's gonna get I'm really gonna do it get into it okay and then also Great British Bake Off I just started watching it this year all I want to say is it's very wholesome as everyone says very heartwarming and I'll say this too I looked up why it was so wholesome you know like how did they make it wholesome for one uh, it's not filmed in the states of course so you know you don't have that same kind of fame hunger in my opinion but they also ensure that they don't have that kind of fame hunger or those big big egos like you would get in the states because um in part because of the way it's filmed. So it's filmed on the weekends. Everyone on the show takes a bus, like takes a train to the location, stays off location, takes a bus together, and all the episodes are filmed over the weekend. So a lot of these people are normal people who have jobs that they keep during the show. You know, it's not like The Bachelor where people get on and they quit. Even if they're lawyers, they quit their jobs to be on the show because you have to, because it's so all-encompassing. On Great British Bake Off, they're just normal people. They're encouraged to keep their lives and their normal routines. The show is designed to enable that normalcy. And so that's one aspect. And another thing is they don't win. Certainly they win recognition and bragging rights and that glass cake platter, but they don't win any money. Yeah, maybe they'll get like a cookbook deal in the end or something, but they don't win any money. They aren't paid for being on episodes even. So I think that too just helps to keep the egos down and really um, encourages people who love baking to go on it. Finally, the judges have a sort of teacher mentality that I think is really important. It's fun as a viewer to watch because you feel like you're actually learning something about the chemistry of baking, but it also keeps the drama down. You know, they're not like Gordon Ramsay swearing someone out. They're not like um, any other judge on any other any other American reality show uh, who's like really cutting people down. I guess there are exceptions, but they're, you know, like RuPaul or Tyra or something, but there, there will always be a moment in this season where there's this big blowout moment, like Tyra saying, we all, what, oh man, I'm so bad at quoting things, we all believed in you or whatever. That never happens on the Great British Bake Off. And so, so the judges are like a are teachers. They're not like, this quiche is the worst quiche I've ever had. I'm gonna throw up. Instead, they're like, this quiche is not the best because you put it in too long or you didn't have enough egg or XYZ. If you use more egg next time, the result will be this. So it's always instructive. I think that makes a difference. And you can just see that the there's like a atmosphere of support. The other contestants, if they have extra time, they help each other, they encourage each other, they applaud for one another when someone does a particularly good job. Um, if someone spills something, they try to help if they can, and I really like that supportive spirit. Okay, so that's my little dissection of that. So, the next section on my list is just popular shows I wanted to shout out, essentially. If you want to talk about them more, we can. I don't have anything particularly insightful to add. Um, I thought Stranger Things was fun. I thought Game of Thrones was fun. Of course, I watched that. Um, the Handmaid's Tale, watch that. Not fun, but important. And I like the way it's shot. Sure. 
first one is sharp, sharp objects. Um, I really like the way it was filmed and edited, the way that um, these these people who had already passed away would appear in the the current world and situation. I thought the editing for that reason was amazing, but. Um, Thank you for listening. Let me know what TV you're watching, what TV you're loving.